Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DPW. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, I don't mean to state the obvious hill here, but I will anyways. Quite the eventful day, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on this one. So a lot of eyeballs on it. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. For me, kind of the, you know, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but the, the do or die level is down here at 20 cents. Why is 20 cents so important? Why am I being so dramatic about it? Well, I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but just to kind of, uh, justify my uh, my uh, dramatics here is let's say that the price were to go down there and then not hold above it and then just continue on down. At that point in time, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back into that area that it just broke out from. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength or anything like that. So that is why to me, 20 cents is very, very important. But to give full credit where credit is due, so far so good, the price is holding above 20 cents. And you know if that continues, so in other words, let's say the price comes down here. However, in this situation, behaves in that manner, goes sideways and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have here? Well, now all of a sudden you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have these lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, what do you have? Well, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase progress as 20 cents. So, and, and 20 cents is by no means some sort of great discovery on my part. I assure you people that use charts, understand charts, are gonna be watching and wondering the same thing. And I bring that up because when there's a lot of eyeballs watching and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some pretty interesting price dynamics. And again, 20 cents is one of those levels that I'm sure a lot of people will be watching. So we'll see what happens with it going forward and if the price can stay above it or not. So 20 cents, very important. The week is young, still four days left. Let's see if the price can maintain above that level or if the price is going back to where it was. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.